Time to play with some clay. Before I start doing the hands, I'm going to try to smooth out the uh, clay a little bit with this uh, lighter fluid. And for those of you who have never watched one of my videos, um, you probably don't know this, but that's how I smooth my clay, is I use uh, Ronsonol lighter fluid to uh, smooth the rough areas of the uh, clay. There's something in the Ronsonol that uh, melts the clay a little bit. And I'm not sure why it does that. All I know is it does. I'll put the sandals on later on. I'm just uh, getting everything sketched in first before I put the final touches on this. First thing I'm going to do is cut the hands off so I can work on them separately. set my uh, GoPro, as you can see here, up to uh, video me working on this uh, set of hands. And I just figured it'd be a lot easier to work on them separately uh, rather than have them on the figure itself. I can adjust them once I get done on the figure, but for now, I'm going to Work on it in this position here. Here, <clears throat> sorry, I'm having a hard time with my voice today. Now I've got several reference materials that I've gotten from uh, art books that I have, and one of them is the uh, proportion of hands uh, to the face, and. Uh, from about the hairline down to your uh, eyebrow is about the width of the fingers. And from, uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, from the bottom of the chin to the bottom of the nose is the width of the hand as well. So those are two measurements that you can take. And then, I'm sorry about the fan, but it is uh, wintertime. And uh, from the bottom of the hand to the uh, knuckles is half of the uh, head length, or half the length of the hand, and to the tip of the longest finger, which is the in pointing, well, the, give the finger fi finger. <laughs> it's, it's another half. So those are proportions that I'm going to work with, and uh, I'm going to set this aside here. First thing I need to do is find my caliper. And I'm going to go from the bottom of his chin to the bottom of his uh, nose, and that's the uh, width of the hand. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. This is going to be the uh, 
left hand. So the sun will be on this side, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's where it's going. Just going to check it. I'm recording, so. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the first hand I did, and it was too small. And I went more to a larger hand because the figure back there, the mannequin, or the maquette, is closer to his size than, uh, well, it's close enough that I can actually take the measurement off the hand on the maquette and, and match the same size. I ended the video because I couldn't get the hand in the right position for you to see it on camera. So it just much it worked out much better to just do it without the camera and then come back and show you what I've done. So that's basically it for today and uh, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.